been playing Crab, as always. Ronnie uh, taking a bit of a deviation from his uh, normal crane. crane yeah, I think he said he had all the promos he needed for crane, so well, also with switching the, it up. With the, uh, <clears throat> the release of the Unicorn Pack, I mean, it's been a while since we've released any content. But with the release of the Unicorn Pack, uh, Unicorn, especially HMT, uh, has become brutally fast. And it's a really good way to get under some of the more slow control -y decks. Uh, with the release of the Crane Pack, we've also seen the emergence of a, I mean, in my opinion, a very oppressive uh, dueling deck with the, with the new Stronghold, Kyuden Kikita. And one of the ways to combat that is to play an extremely fast uh, military aggressive deck, which is what Ronnie has. So uh, looks like Ronnie is going to be the first player for this uh, game, at least to start. There's, there's two uh, major crab archetypes that uh, that are popular right now. One is uh, one that I've actually seen Mind Desire play a lot on Jigoku, yeah. which is a the Crab Tower build. Just built, gets a big guy early, um, and then plays a bunch of attachments on it, and then with Iron Mind Reprieve and Vanguard Warrior, just keeps it around for the entire game. Uses me and Satoshi to fill sure. up the discard pile with holdings that you so, use, rebuild on. Rado brings in a Moto Youth with no fate. Mm -hmm. Ben responds with the Borderlands Defender. Now, uh, this is two. interesting. Uh, Ronnie's actually playing Sadia Old Mose Du. Mo Mose du. I'm, I'm going to butcher that pronunciation. Uh, which is actually something I wasn't expecting, especially in a super aggressive HMT deck. So that might point towards his uh, his strategy to be something a little bit different. Both players playing extremely fast right now. Uh, ben, I see a Spyglass in the Conflict Draw. So that's yep. going to obviously indicate the Scorpion Splash, which also leads me to believe that it this is indeed the crab tower build that is very popular as a competitive build for crab right now um, so i did see uh ronnie get a, one of his charges which will be kind of a big part of that uh no good charge targets right now though so no, he's gonna not have to hold turn. on to them for now battle main recruit also uh something that a lot of unicorn players are playing now you know good for cavalry reserves uh, Shinjo Shono makes a good use out of it because it is a free poke uh, early in the game to power up your stronghold. But for this one, Ronnie is going to go for either, I think, Water or Void if he wants to power up uh, that Balmain recruit. So he's going to go for the Void Ring. Of course, Void Ring is an unappealing ring to choose against Crab because they have so many ways to save their guys. Yeah, he does flip over Shameful Display, though. Uh, going to trigger it right away. Setting the Borderlands Defender in to defend. Borderlands Defender, very good against a lot of Unicorn's tricks because uh, most of Unicorn's combat tricks are send home abilities, and uh, Borderlands Defender's ability prevents that from happening. Right. So. Ronnie does have a really stacked uh, conflict hand as far as uh, military aggression goes. Got two curved blade. Uh, he's going to start with a bonsai, though. He's going to kick it, the Moto Youth. It's going to put the Shameful Display on the break. Uh, I think Ben maybe was thinking about uh, playing Defend Your Honor. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and do that. So uh, Kwanzaa hasn't procced just yet. He's going to initiate a duel against probably the Moto Youth. Uh, Ronnie does decide not to risk bidding high for this one. So Ben does bid one, giving uh, Ronnie a fate, uh, an honor. Yep. Now he's going to Balshiro Nishiyama to give Borderlands Fender plus one. That's going to put him uh, on five. And then Ronnie's going to answer with uh, Curved Blade. It's going to bring him up to seven. So he is winning, but not breaking just yet. Yeah, Ben's just going to pass. Again, the Void Ring is not all that um, important to prevent triggering if you're a crab. He's also going to have a hard time actually preventing it if Ronnie was going to want to win here. Yeah, and I think I think that's what Ron, Ronnie needs to do. It. I mean, the thing about HMT is, uh, I mean, you're trying to win in two or three turns at most. So yes. every time you 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 do an attack, you really want to break something. It's not just enough to win the ring. You have to actually break. Now, I don't think uh, I don't think Crab runs any assassinations. We're going to get the break. Yeah, so Ronnie's going to be safe. He's going to sacrifice a Moto Youth to the HMT. He's going to give him a second uh, 
It's going to give him a second military attack this turn. So Ben does have uh, Haruma Skirmisher available and the Ayuchi Wayfinder if he wants to poke an attack for himself. Probably uh, going for the air ring might be a good idea. So he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna do the Aichi Wayfinder. Take a look at one of the provinces, and that is a border fortress. This is a, actually, this is a very, uh, this is a very peculiar province for a HMT deck. Like between Sadia and border fortress, looks more like the kind of province row I'd seen a Shinjo Shano deck. So it'll be interesting to ask Ronnie later on what his uh, reasoning for running those cards are. Meanwhile, he is going to, in fact, poke the water ring. Yes. If he does, uh, probably going to be a political fight here. And if he does win, it lets him ready that Borderlands defender to defend against the second attack. I think a lot of it also is just forcing a bigger character to defend here uh, or allow that right. defender to ready again. All right, so Midnight Revels is the province that got revealed. Um, not going to do anything right now because the biggest or the most expensive character is already bowed. We'll defend with the Battle Recruit. Now, Battle Recruit does have uh, two strength. Sorry. It would have been zero if it was a political conflict. Yes. My bad. S sitting at six strength. Yeah. Ooh, meditations. That was a bad, bad one for, for yeah. Ronnie there. So that's, that's a lot of investment that's going to go away. That's six, right? Yes. I think, yeah. And then uh, four on Ronnie's side. He does have a Shinjo Ambusher. Yeah, I think you just go for it here. Yeah. Again, it's all about trying to break as many provinces as quickly as possible. So it's going to do it. It's going to bring him up to eight. It's going to be enough to break the meditations. Now here is he won't he doesn't want to lose another province this turn. Yeah. He's going to depend, defend a little bit harder. Doesn't have a lot of resources to put in. The, the only potential plays I see are Haruma Skirmisher and... Uh, ooh, ooh, this is going to do the charge. That's interesting that she charged that. Flips the flips the Midnight Rebels face down. So that was, act, that was a really weird play. He charges in... Oh, I see. Okay. Well... <laughs> okay. <laughs> So now, now I understand. Uh, I understand what Ronnie's playing. What kind of deck he's playing now? This seems like a deck that tries to get all the conflicts in as quickly as possible. So yeah, the card he just played was Curry Favor. Yep. Curry Favor is um, after your character you control bows as a result of conflict leverage from the second conflict you declared this round. Ready that character. So that means that that uh, Sadia, um, the combination of charge and Curry Favor means that uh, she's going to stick around and be able to do a conflict, a political conflict, something that you rarely see, like a, a a threatening political conflict from HMT to do potentially a third province break this round. Gets the manicured garden uh, on Ben's side. Has, oh, oh. has three strength. I think Ben just passed here to start with. Oh. Using the fight on. Okay. Now the tri spyglass is already triggered twice, so uh, he's not going to get to draw another card. But uh, pretty impressive first turn for Ronnie. Of course, uh, Crab has the ability to, uh, to stabilize pretty well, even after multiple province breaks. So turn two is really the turn where we're going to see if Ronnie has enough resources to push through to the final couple of province breaks. Um, Ronnie's low on cards already, which is probably going to mean he's going to draw a lot, a lot of cards uh, going into the draw phase this turn. This flop is, uh, it's a little bit awkward for uh, a player who's not going first this turn. So Young Warrior, if he does play, it's going to be forced to block on the first attack that Ben makes this turn. So it'll be interesting to see what Ronnie buys here. Looks like Ronnie still has another charge in his hand. Yeah. So God has some options. Uh, not those, like they're amazing charge targets, but... So Tetsuko, goodbye for him. He's going to make uh, 
He's going to make every card that Ben plays during a conflict or when she's attacking cost one more. So Ben's going to have to be careful about managing his fate. Brings in an envoy. Yeah, Ryan just goes for the pass here. That makes sense. Looking to charge, I think. I'm going to see some five bids again here. Yeah. Another curve blade for Ronnie. Yeah, it's got some tools. Oh, gossip. Wonder if he's gonna fire off fire off gossip this turn. So now we see uh Ben making its board a little bit wider this turn. Uh he did lose that iron mine, so I'm not sure if he drew a reprieve or anything like that. Uh he does have a rebuild in his hand though, so if he if he survives this turn he's gonna yeah. be able to save that Borderlands defender. Definitely doesn't want to go back at the Midnight Rebels this turn. No. The Wiggle Fire for the Fate with the Mantis to Kinja. Endless Planes. <laughs> okay, well, that's a pretty good one. Actually, that's a it's a pretty lucky timing window for Ronnie, too. If, uh, if Ben still had that Iron Mine, then yeah. uh, the Endless Planes wouldn't have done much. But I think Ronnie's willing to take this trade here. This trade of a province for a one fate mantis to Kinja. Now, if Ben wants to actually win a win this Wayfinder. conflict, he's going to have to play something else. He's going to play Aichi Wayfinder into the conflict. He really wants to get that fire ring off. Oh, glad the mine on Tsuko. That was the other reason why he played the Aichi Wayfinder. Yeah. Both players playing extremely fast. Uh, very familiar with uh, the pace of this game, so it's making it a little bit difficult to keep up with yes. everything. Well, I mean, but, we, we got to focus on the play-by-play, -play yeah. and uh, the so, storytelling may have to wait for in between rounds. So, dishonoring Tetsuko, putting another spyglass on the on the Borderlands defender. Yeah, it's got a got a reprieve in hand to also keep yeah. her around. That's going to make it. Uh, it's going to make this attack very unappealing. Now, the good news is that you know even. Even with two spy glasses, that doesn't boost uh, military power. Ben does have the military favor, though. So if he does block with the uh, with the Borderlands defender, it's going to be a total of five military strength to start. Something Arani's going to have to overcome, uh, and then that's in addition to Shiro Nishiyama's ability. Yeah, Ronnie just. Uh, verifying that that's uh, the military strength that he's going to have to overcome if he's going to want to win this. So he's going to start with a pre-conflict curved blade. Another one. So this is going to be... That's a... Has he got a, has a mind that he wants to a six, duel seven, early eight. in this conflict? Yeah, nine, ten. I think he wants to prevent any uh, defend your honor shenanigans. Oh, fair. Yeah, he's going to go after manicure. No reason to leave anyone behind. Okay. So drawing two cards off those two spy glasses. One of them is a talisman. Uh, depending on what that last province is, might be really useful. But of course, it's uh, good enough to uh, boost. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I forgot the favor. Yeah, he was deciding on whether or not he wanted to attack the convoy. So Ben's actually going to have to play something here if he wants to prevent the break. I mean, he can just bow Shira Nishiyama if he wants. Um, Mountain does not fall. Also a really good ploy on the Borderlands Defender. I expect we will see the that one. Actually, the Mountain does not fall would only be useful if uh, Ben actually won the conflict, because if he didn't, um, Ronnie could trigger the Water Ring to bow the Borderlands Defender. Uh, right. right. Yep. So that's just something Ben's going to have to keep in mind. So, find Katana. On the Borderlands Defender, bringing Ben's strength to 8. And he's going to follow it up with a Bonsai and kick it. So now we've got a defense of 12. Not sure if Ronnie has much gas left in the tank. He does have the, I think, a fine katana in his hand. He has a charge as well. Charge could bring out a young warrior. So, so between the charge and the fine katana, that could be a potential extra three strength right. or sorry an extra five strength that he can put into the conflict and uh, there was that mountain doesn't fall that Ben just played 
Song now, I think, might actually be in Ronnie's best interest to uh, to at least push through a victory, even if he's not going to break. Yes. Again, playing the fine katana is not enough because Ben still has that Shironishiyama trigger built uh, open to him. I mean, Ben still does the op have the option of getting the talisman out and coming over to the higher strength uh, Imperial Palace. If a break does become potential, but it's a long. Long way to go to get to break range. This is tough, right? This is this is the critical uh, turn for HMT, and, and this is why Crab is such a such a mm. bad matchup for Unicorn, because it's it's not hard for them to to mount a defense like this. I mean, a lot of their abilities are extremely defensive because you got fight on, you've got the mount that does not fall, you've got Shiro Nishiyama. So usually, what the Unicorn player ends up doing is they end up spewing a lot of cards just to win a conflict. And does go with the talisman here. Yep, talisman going to 13. Yeah, so it does, not only does it uh, give him the tool of having the talisman out there, but it, just, mm -hmm. it does also give him the edge and strength. Uh, one thing I realized afterwards, just looking at uh, Ben's hand, he could have uh, and probably should have rebuilt his iron mine before he did any conflict decoration in a new province just against Unicorn. It would have been prudent. Right. Yeah, because Iron Mind's the only uh, the only holding in his discard pile anyway, right? Yeah. And I mean, he had. He had well, the, the other thing is he probably he had at least to... one rebuild before the draw, like at that point in his turn. Well, the the other thing about Iron Mind is that you you want to um, if you if you rebuild Iron Mind too early, well, that just gives your opponent an opportunity to attack it mm -hmm. before it gets used, unless you were assuming that he he was trying to prevent uh, any kind of kill. That Ronnie might have had. Yeah, I mean, putting the kill, preventing the risk of an endless planes. Uh, I think it would have been prudent, right. but it's very easy to look at that in retrospect. Yep. Okay, so uh, while we were talking, we kind of missed that last uh, sequence of plays there. But yeah. Ronnie did did use the charge to get the young warrior in. the The water ring allowed him to trigger the the bow on the borderlands defender, despite the mountain not fall being used. So that's very good for him. So Ronnie, I think. Uh, just think about playing that gossip now. Well, we're still a little bit away from that. Um, so Ben's going to go back into Midnight Rebels. But I, mean, I don't know if you want to wait for that phase. Any like, I don't know what you would wait for. Uh, I think I think the idea is that he's trying to. Well, because Ben wants to rebuild the Iron Man, right? Oh, uh, no, it, 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 I guess ultimately it won't matter. He's thinking about blocking a repri reprieve play. I see, okay. Well, that's it. I mean, that's the, that's the downside about playing, uh, that's the downside about playing the gossip, right? Because you have, you have to block the reprieve and the rebuild. Yeah. Those are two, the two cards that you're going to have to play around. Now, Ben doesn't have any money right now, so, um, that might make his uh, Ronnie's gossip play a little bit easier. Does win the, the Earth Conflict. Triggers the Earth Ring. I mean, he knows the splash. I, gu I guess it still wouldn't be immediately yeah. obvious that the gossip is the other card. Yeah, Kurt, I mean. <laughs> well, no one would have guessed Curry Favor. Curry, Curry Favor is a weird one. I would have no idea what my opponent was running if I saw Curry Favor as a splash. He's going to go for the air ring here. Uh, this is politic, no, military air here. And uh, looks like he's not going to contest this at all. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, I don't think Ronnie uh, realized that the rebuild play was something that was open to him. Like he, His original question was about the reprieve. Yep. But uh, he was, I think he was just so laser focused on reprieve. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't, I don't think so. I think he just made it just to not have realized because the money. Because like there was no reason to wait. If all you're going to do is block reprieve, you might as well right. go now. Right. Um, so the only reason to wait is because you realize there's multiple options for how he's going to mm -hmm. keep the defender around. Yeah, playing gossip would have been huge there. I mean that you you lose such a huge investment and. Again, yeah. that's like a rare window where that shields down for the crab player where they don't have uh, they don't have a save for them. So going into the third turn, uh, Ronnie's first player again. We see a uh, 
Actually, a pretty decent flop for, for Ben. <clears throat> I think Ben's just going to slam the Satoshi and pass. And now this is where you start digging for Karada District, perhaps. You get more copies of uh, Keeper Initiates in your discard pile as well. Oh, he's going to go ahead and trigger Satoshi now. I mean, it's... It does it find the Karada. Ooh. Interesting. It's going to be tough. So, well, Karada is just going to take Curve Blade. Now, the thing about Curve Blade is that you can only attach it to a Unicorn character, but Karada still... Uh, Karada's ability says if you can't attach it to a character you control, you just discard it. Karada District says... Uh, put it on one of your characters if able, otherwise discard it. So well, it says attach it to an eligible yeah. character, which you can't do, but uh, the otherwise discard it lets you throw it in the bin. So we see a uh, five to four draw here. Uh, ben is starting to tick down on his dial bids because he's got the two spy glasses. He's not all that interested in bidding high anymore. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Got a watch yeah. commander. Two ornate fans. I think I see another cloud that might, but he doesn't have a Shigenja anymore. I wonder if Ronnie goes for an earlier uh, rebuild gossip this turn, knowing that he'll be able to Maya Mystic the reprieve if it comes. Oh, that's true. Well, yes. Yeah. I mean, at this point, there could be multiple, but. Missing, missing the gossip on a rebuild last turn was a pretty big deal, I think. I mean, Ronnie's still in a pretty strong position, but it would have... Well, I, I'm not actually all that sure if he is. So you can go for a political poke here with the Mia Mystic. Whoops. So that's four, five, six, seven to one. Gonna trigger the manicure garden, and uh, I guess he was just looking to bow the the borderlands defender. Now the problem is Ben could very easily just do a political water conflict. Uh, yeah, do a political water conflict to ready the borderlands defender, and then we're back at square one. But he's gonna have to remember not to attack midnight rebels because that would actually do something in this situation. So yeah, I mean, going for that has the added bonus of getting the Keeper Initiate uh, into play. Reveals a Border Fortress on Ronnie's side. I feel like it's another one that he knew yeah, it's from the uh, Wayfinder earlier. Yeah, odd one. I guess, I guess I can see the reason why you would run that in HMT. It's uh, basically a free, free, in quotes, Aichi Wayfinder trigger, so... Let's you scout. Um, well, it's not just that. Interest. It lets you. It lets you disable a on reveal effect. Uh, that's that's true, kind of. I guess it depends on what gets revealed, right? Because sometimes, if you, uh, you well, it could be something. It could be something you know card. about from the Aoichi Wayfinder yeah. that you know that you're kind of taking away a, a province trap. That's true. So we got a political attack of four. Is Ronnie defending yet? I can't. I don't think so. He hasn't decided yet. Yeah. All right, Core Games to honor Satoshi there. Bring him in six. All right, so it looks like it was undefended. And uh, very good water ring here for Ben. He's going to ready the Borderlands defender, straighten uh, yeah. the Keeper initiate. Ronnie, Ronnie asking Ben if he would like to uh, bow the Wayfinder on his side. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the this is where Crab gets to stabilize. Um, then, and because the the unicorn deck, I mean, to say nothing of cavalry reserves, but the unicorn deck can really only have like a most in most cases a maximum number of conflict characters from turn to turn. Yeah. Uh, Ben's gonna slowly build up his board state while Ronnie's is gonna kind of fluctuate between I feel like two to three permanent right. or semi permanent. Uh, characters on the board. 
He's also got that. Uh, he's also got that Karata district, which is going to, you know, at the very least, discard a curved blade at the end of this turn. Yeah. But I mean, know, that center is probably going to be pretty meaningful in Ben's yeah. hand as well. Yeah, and it's going to be in in Ben's best interest to to try to hold on to the favor as long as possible because there's going to be a turn where Ronnie's going to try to go for cavalry reserves, so that uh, center is going to be really important. So, yeah, military earth here. Looks like uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think. 12, uh, yeah, 11. So 11 to 9. I think, I think the first thing you do is play watch commander here, maybe. You want to start bleeding. You want to start bleeding that honor from. Yeah. And so he does as he's told. Commander. So that means that uh, 11 to 10, that means that if Ben uses Shiro Nishiyama here, then... Um... Oh. So Cloud the Mine, probably trying to set up some kind of bow or send home effect here. I see a press of battle in Ronnie's hand. So press of battle is going to allow him to bow the Borderlands defender. Yeah. Now, Ben does have a fight on his hand. He can use that on a character that's already in the conflict simply to stand it up. Right. Of course, Ronnie doesn't know that, right? And there's also the um, censure in Ben's hand, so... I feel like uh, I feel like that censure is... Ben's just going to hold on to that for the, the cavalry reserves. Like, I would in that situation. There's just so many other ways you have of... Uh, Fair. ...of straightening it up. Yeah, I see. He's gonna he's gonna let it happen. He's gonna use the watch commander to trigger the honor loss here. Did he lose one? And then he uses fight on to ready the guy. So Shiro Nishiyama now bowing. He's gonna bring uh, Ben to twelve. Yeah. So it looks like looks like Ben won that one. <laughs> yeah, so Ben has Ben has one uh, military conflict left. And I think, well, both, so uh, air I think is pretty appealing here. Fire is decent too. He can honor his keeper initiate if he does that. But uh, air, he can, he can start accelerating that honor loss as well. Yeah, so he's going to go for the Haruma skirmisher here. Coverting the border rider. Probably going to go into midnight rebels here. Military. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. Military fire. Yep. Military fire into the unknown province. I'm guessing he scouted that earlier with the IHU wayfinder. It's appealing to the fortunes. Well, it's not. It's not that bad because. Because um, Ronnie's already declared to conflicts and he hasn't used HMT. So uh, Shinjo Shono, even if it comes out, I don't think that's enough glory to... That's not enough glory to switch the Imperial favor from Ben no. to Ronnie. Yeah, going to go for fire. Probably looking to either honor the Keeper to shit or dishonor the Wayfinder. <laughs> Well, <laughs> so names names bonsai with a gossip. Well, that's a, that's what we call an error of dexterity there, dexterity error. Still, I mean that's that's not that <laughs> that's not that bad of a, a problem. I mean he does lose out on breaking a province, which uh, means the game's going to drag on a little bit longer. But does get to honor his keeper initiate, uh, makes Ronnie lose one. Uh, one honor here. So Ryan needs to decide whether he's going to do something first. Yep. Wait, wait. Oh, that's interesting. Gets rid of the uh, gets rid of the Imperial Palace. I guess he's he's not all that worried about losing the favor now. Oh, he's not going to. I guess he doesn't really care that much. 
Would you have taken one of the curve blades off? I guess uh, I guess he he would have rather had the fate, yeah. I think, than simply discarding a curve blade. The strategy might also be that if he tries to if she if he tries to attack with Tetsuko, he just sends uh, he just sends her to upholding authority. That's right. Right. So you might not all be that con all that concerned about that. So another decent flop by Ben here. This time he's actually got a couple of choices. Now, Steadfast Witch Hunter is good because you got your Keeper initiate the sack. Uh, and I don't think you're all that concerned about Covert, but he's going to go for the Suichi instead. We'll see if he actually buys the Vanguard Warrior here as well. I think he, he might buy the Vanguard Warrior because then this way he can get a fate back with Suichi uh, when it attacks. Big Chagatai. He's already gone through two of his yeah, charges. I, so. I, I think this is truly the last. Uh, this is truly the last turn that Ronnie has to make his big. If he's going to make his big push, he has to do it now. He's got two cavalry birds. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the fate to push both of them through. Going to go for the mat bids again. Draws another gossip. The gossips have been kind of weird. I mean, he missed he missed the one time. With the, that was a tough call. Yeah. Like, he had to realize that there was no money then, for the reprieve. And the second time, it only really did something because his opponent dropped the, the card on the table. So, yeah. Definitely. I mean, even in that turn, it still was, was tempting to call a rebuild and uh, yeah. save the Mystic to deal with a reprieve on mm -hmm. the Defender. Oh, yeah. I guess he doesn't have to worry about Midnight anymore. Yeah, this is why this is why I'm always worried about playing Midnight Rebels in any deck that has a five-cost character in it, because you end up with situations like this. But he's also, it's not on his stronghold, so it's not like... Yeah. He's not relying on it. So Ronnie, Ronnie, not defending. I think. Yeah. So yeah, not, not defending the conflict. He's just looking to race for the final two, uh, final two provinces here. Just debating whether to do the discard or not. I don't think Ronnie has the, has the cards to push through a military conflict here. Oh my God, a third. <laughs> but you've only got two eyes. <laughs> But if, you just, you, you just if like you, line them you, up yeah, one after the other. If you attach enough spyglass there, do you get a yeah. telescope? So political air conflict, just a poke. Again, looking to uh, looking to bow, to bait, uh, to bait Ben into blocking and then getting that bow. Yeah, I think. Interesting. Yeah, he's gonna go for water. I was gonna say. I mean. That's the problem, right? Like, he was going for the air ring because yeah. of the fate, but you want to just get the water ring out of play so he can't use it even if he does defend to... Uh, well, and he also has to defend now because he, yeah. can't, he can't let his right. defender get bad for that. So going to draw three. Does mm. draw two mountains. All right, well, that works out. And I think he already had a fight on two, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Ronnie's... Uh, I think I think this is this is the point I think where Ronnie realizes he can't yeah. he can't really do anything here. So I wonder what's under uh, Ronnie's stronghold. What is uh, yeah? I wonder what are, what's under Ronnie's stronghold here. So so Ben's speculating as to what the province might be. He's saying it might be Khan's or Du. Uh, looks like the only province that uh, Ronnie hasn't revealed is a fire province, and I think Khan's or Du is a fire yeah. province. Yeah. This is Ben's guess. Yeah. So we're gonna do skirmisher. Uh, gonna use it to probably covert Chagatai because the curb blades only give the bonus on attack. Yes. 
So that means uh, if he if he coverts Chagatai, that means that it's only a four points. Yeah, four four defense. Okay. So just reminding that yeah. So coverting Chagatai. It is cons or due. Yep. And the only other conflicts that are left this round are military anyway. So. I mean, he can't trigger it. Oh. So yeah, defending with Titsuko and the Border Rider, that's going to be six on defense, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to do this one at a time, I think, because he's just worried about the honor. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think I would have. I think I would have pushed. I would have drawn all the cards. Yeah. Yeah. He's got ten honor. He's got yeah. nothing to worry about. So nine to six is the, uh, I believe, is the count. Ben has a Ben has a bonsai in his hand. I think. Got a watch commander. Wait, he was. Oh, he was drawing for the watch commander. So we'll see yeah. the watch commander first. Yeah. Uh, he's got a lot of. Uh, he's got a lot of gas here. I think, and he's got. What's that? He's got multiple centuries. Yeah, multiple centuries. I. Yeah, I don't. I think I this don't, is game. <laughs> I don't think that's. Uh, Some yeah, fun katanas in there. Ronnie's saying he's got probably got all the katanas in the world right now too. So. Yeah. What if uh, Ronnie gossip censure here? At the very least, to bait out censure, maybe. I don't. I don't think that's the right play. I mean, it depends if you think your only option here is a calf reserve, which you might. Yeah, I think you kind of have to, right? To do a defensive cavalry reserves. The problem is, Ben, if Ben has multiple censures, I mean, he can try to gossip once, but once he's played the one gossip, he can't play the second one, because it's limited once per... Oh, once it's per limited, turn. I think? Yeah, it's a limited, it's a limited card, like yes. Doom Shigen Jays, yeah. Yeah, I, I think ben, Ben's got to censure this. Oh, oh, defend your honor, is what Ronnie called. I mean, I can under I can understand that why he did that, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ronnie is, is hoping he doesn't play censure, but I think he's about to be in for. Oh, sorry, thirty. I put two into me. <laughs> ben should just drop the censure on the table before Ronnie does anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, this cavalry reserves would have been decent if uh, he was able to go to the the stronghold. <laughs> That's the game. So I think that's uh, no. <laughs> so that so that's the game. Um, I think as we mentioned at the beginning, one of the harder matchups for a super aggressive uh, for a super aggressive unicorn deck is a is a crab deck, especially this type of crab deck, which can just get a, a giant character, put a bunch of attachments on it, have it participate in multiple conflicts, draw a bunch yeah. of cards. Um, it's an interesting idea that Ronnie has. Experimental. It's a. This is a very all or nothing. Uh, HMT well, if that, deck looks if like. that third conflict had managed to get a break, yeah. then it, Ben might have been in a harder right. spot. Yeah. Yeah, but as it is, right? If you, you know, the gossips there are probably to, you're just throwing the way to to, oh. to counter counter spells, I guess. I maybe? I kind of really dig the gossip actually, but. Well, I think the big thing is just it kind of clears the way for you for a safer cav reserve. Now, it's good games by both players.